Oh boy. I just bought a bulldozer. So there was this farm and construction equipment auction going off close to my house. I went out and took a look to see, um, take a look at the equipment they had. And I really like this one bulldozer. I've got a customer of mine that uh, wants a bulldozer down in Costa Rica. You know, I've worked with him before. And, um, you know, I found this gorgeous 450B. You know, it's like a highly sought after um, dozer, an older dozer. And, well, I bought it. So. Now I gotta pay for it, get it, and hope I don't lose my ass on it. So I'm on my way to uh, go get this dozer uh, from this auction house that I deal with. Uh, and it's really not too far from me, uh, so it'll be nice. And they're opening the auction up early for me because, you know, I've been dealing with them for so long. So there's a relationship there, which is nice. Um, but yeah, so traveling to the yard um, and I will video um, the condition of the dozer as is, loading it up and then, um, you know, taking it home. and going from there so this is it this is that uh, 450b with that little side boom thing it's kind of cool you know this side boom is gonna be heavy so this will be a little heavier than I expected but yeah let's fire it up Ooh. in the cockpit All right, let's get this thing warm and loaded on the trailer. I don't... Well, she's all chained down, so, uh, yeah, let's haul this big-ass thing. I'm testing the brakes on my way out. This trailer is, uh, really nice brakes, but I'm going all the way up to 9.5, or 95%, because this thing is heavy. Um, you know, that little pipe layer boom thing device is, uh, that, that's solid steel. I mean, that's, that's... It's hydraulic winch, so that's a big unit. This might be like a 14 or 15,000 pound dozer. This thing's fucking heavy, dude. Uh, let's see how she does on the highway. Hopefully the cops don't stop me. But so far, Winnie's hauling it. She's singing a little bit going up this hill. But for the most part, this has been a smooth ride. I got the dozer home. Uh, Winnie hauled it good. She did a good job hauling it. Uh, this thing's definitely heavy. You know, looking these up online, they say they're about like 14,000 pounds. Um, but with this like side boom thing, I mean, 
I, I have to assume I got to add another thousand pounds to this whole thing. Probably more because, well, if you look at the counterweight on this thing, I mean, look how heavy. See my hand? I got monster sized hands. This is a huge piece of steel. So, you know, I don't know what four inch, four inch thick steel weighs. I gotta look that up. But I had Spanky over. Um, he took a look at it. He likes it. That's important because he knows these things a lot better than I do. Um, and, you know, he pointed out some things like someone put money in brand new track tensioners. You know, taking a look at the health of the tracks. You know, everything seems good. You know, it, there's a weird wear pattern on the track itself um, that Spanky showed me, which is interesting. But for the most part, uh, I mean, this thing's pretty in pretty di damn good shape, and it runs really good. Um, it's definitely been repainted before. And actually, here's a good point: is this is probably the real John Deere yellow, and then you see here it's been repainted at some point. But who cares? Um, but yeah, I mean, this thing is pretty pretty healthy, and definitely impressed with it. Uh, I real I'm really curious to try to figure out how to use this side boom thing. Um, which, you know, was for pipe laying back in the day. I did some looking online, and I was talking to Spanky about it, and, like, there's a ton of, like, these type of machines in, like, Canada. Um, you know, probably for the pipeline. But, uh, one thing I didn't like about this thing is as I'm inspecting it, I noticed that, like, so we'll take a look at this cylinder. Um, I love seeing grease puking out of here, and I don't see any grease. You know, it's like dry. You know, lube your stuff up. And it's the same for everything. Like, any grease fitting I see, I don't see any uh, grease coming out of it. I'm definitely going to have to do a one-over on this thing. Um, the All the fluids look immaculate, so I don't have to do an oil change or a transmission fluid change or a hydraulic change, which is nice. But I definitely got to go over this thing. Um, I'm going to lube the hell out of it. And, um, you know, then I'm going to have fun with this thing. And then I'll try to sell it and see, uh, see what we can do. But let me lube this thing up and then I'll start playing with this boom. not setting this thing up right or you need two people to do this or the old timers are just laughing at me because I don't know what I'm doing Yeah, so I don't know if I'm like initially setting this up right. I mean, obviously I got there, but it's probably a little trick to it. Man, this thing's badass. I wonder how much this would pick up. This is probably on the verge of stupid, but I want to try it. See if it'll pick up many. up the truck no problem still got I mean I'm an idle too so it's still got like plenty of ass to go
I don't want to go too high because I got shit on the back of the truck. So I don't want to lose it. That's pretty badass. How much do you think it's picking up? Two tons? You know? Like the front is what? 4,000 pounds? Gotta be. At least you know it'll do two tons. Wonder what else I could do with this thing. this tree that's about to hit my barn and it's rotted all hell and I wonder if I could just uh, just pull this over with the dozer let's try it Worked out better than I thought. Made a little choker and uh, the dozer just ripped it in half. That was cool and clean. Not gonna lie, I was uh, pissing a little bit on that one because the limb was like looking at me and I had to really think about my decisions here because uh, I didn't want this thing to kill me. But I figured if I apply light pressure and angle it, then I'd be in the safe zone. And yeah, the dozer just pushed it over. It's a pretty big tree. Granted, it's dead. Which helps. Ain't no big thing. I tell you what, this 450B is mighty strong. Overall, this is an awesome purchase. I have a customer lined up for this machine, so I technically should sell it to him, but man, I really want to keep it. It's pretty damn handy. A situation on our hands here. Three wheelers stuck. Got a little rowdy, almost went into the creek. <laughs> 